everybody, it's Bunny, and here's a view. What is this? Okay, just first of all, try not to look at me too closely today. Do you ever just have a day, like a day where all tasks seem impossible, like getting out of bed or eating a Subway sandwich? This is my face today. But here's a view you don't often get to see. Look at this creepy thing. Oh yeah, you think these cardboard cutouts back here are creepy? You have not seen this. Just, this is in my house. Today is everybody's favorite day of the week. And that is the day when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today, I'm gonna be testing out this cotton candy maker. This is an as seen on TV product. I think I found it at Toys R Us. It's supposed to be a real machine that's real easy. And I hope it doesn't require any batteries because I don't have any. Supposedly you can use just regular sugar with it or you can use special cotton candy sugar. This is the stuff that I use at Halloween time. I normally rent a big professional cotton candy machine for the trick-or-treaters. We'll see how well this works. Maybe I can just get by with my own. Impossible box to open. Yeah. Struggling. Ah! Oh, that was my little fight. You get the cotton candy maker. You get six cones to build the cotton candy on. And uh, thank goodness it runs off of wall electricity power. Ooh, you even get free stickers. Thank you, Crazy Art. Oh, what? You have to mail in for the free stickers and pay $2.99 for them. So they, in fact, are not free. This is what it looks like. Oh, that's awesome. It also immediately suctions to the table. Like when I just lifted it, you hear that? It sounds like frogs. Maybe I should read the instructions. Excuse me for one second. Well, the good news is this is ridiculously simple and requires no assembly or thoughts whatsoever. You just plug it in and then there are three kind of notches in here. I'm not sure if you can see what they say, but you just turn it on. I'm trying to spin it. You can't see the spinning action. The struggle is real. Oh, there we go. All right, hear that sound? The whirring sound. There is a red status light inside of here. And I think it said that it takes three minutes and then it will be hot enough for us to pour some sugar inside. They say just to use a regular spoon and put a little sugar in at a time and then you build the cone up so I will wait for it to heat and then we will begin. Until then I can try like that trick about, nope. How do you, how does this happen? How do you balance? Maybe my nose isn't pointy enough. Nope. Last time I couldn't twirl a baton. This time I can't balance a spoon on my nose. I can't do anything right. All right, we've got a green status light, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to go. I would also like to say that it puts off like a nice heated plasticky aroma as it heats up. Since I didn't think that this would be possible to make cotton candy out of regular sugar, we're gonna just put a spoonful of sugar in at first. Just regular old sugar with no color. Uh, so let me get cotton candy camera angle here. Can you see what's going on? All right, one spoon of sugar and you pour it into this top little thing here. Ooh, sugar is flying everywhere. Can you see the slight webbing? That did not make any cotton candy. Well, I take it back. It did make a teeny tiny little amount Oh my goodness, this is ridiculously fun. Are you seeing this? Oh my goodness, it feels like Halloween. Oh my goodness, I think this 
is my new favorite thing that I've ever tested. This is ridiculously fun. Oh my goodness, it's making more. It's making more cotton candy. This is how much cotton candy one spoon of sugar makes. I am incredibly surprised. So I'm just gonna take a little sample bite. It looks like ghost cotton candy. <laughs> oh, I wish I could share some with you. Go ahead, you take a bite first. It's gonna be delicious. Ooh. Wow. Regular Shuggy, Shuggy. <laughs> I just want that to be like a new pet name. Can I start calling Dogman Shuggy? Shuggy Wuggy. I wish he was here right now so that he could sample some of this delicious cotton candy. Hmm. Wow. It tastes just like real cotton candy. I'm gonna try real cotton candy sugar right now. Also, just because I honestly wanna make more cotton candy. I'm just gonna take a spoon of Silly Milly Pink Vanilla. This is like one of my favorite flavors. This is like thicker granules than regular sugar. I'm not sure if you can tell or not. Woo! That's the only crazy part. That is a little bit messy. I'm not sure if you guys can see teeny tiny sugar granules flying out of the machine. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing right now either. All right, making some cotton candy. Making some cotton candy. and you guys are gonna have to tell me if I'm right or not but I almost think that in this little home machine that the regular sugar makes more than the cotton candy sugar I don't know correct me if I'm wrong let's take a tiny taste do you want to try some silly nilly I know you do okay mmm delightful so I'm gonna try and make a really big size thing of cotton candy right now. They say that you can keep adding more and more to the cone by adding more spoonfuls of sugar. So let's see if we can make a really big, awesome looking thing of cotton candy. I kind of made a mess of this. Overall, I have got to give this thing a 10 out of 10. It is right up there with the Wubble Bubble Ball in some of my all time favorites. Does this thing really work? items that I have ever tried. I will say I think it's easier to manage using smaller quantities of sugar just like one spoonful at a time. I did two spoonfuls to try and make a larger one and it kind of started making it way too fast for me to pick up and it was just kind of clumpy sugar bits all over the place. I think it's better to make multiple ones but just smaller ones at a time. The only thing that I will tell you guys to be very cautious of, especially if you're buying it for kids, is to never ever let them touch the blue part in here that is metal. It gets extremely hot and I kind of just burn the snot out of myself in a couple different places trying to clean out clogged cotton candy so you just have to be really cautious about that and you also have to be really cautious if there's little kids around especially when you're adding the sugar or even if you're an adult like you might want to wear sunglasses or something when you pour the sugar in because it kind of throws sugar all over the place like there is sugar all over my lap can you see this and there is sugar all over my floor, all over the table where all this is happening. It really throws sugar everywhere like a professional cotton candy machine does. They are very, very messy as well. But it also kind of throws sugar at your face and in your eyeballs. I think a little fleck of sugar hit me in this eye. Other than those couple tiny little things i really can see kids and even adults having a lot of fun with this device especially if you love cotton candy it's really delicious either way whether you use flavored 
cotton candy flavoring sugar or if you use regular sugar. I think that besides the device, the other things to keep using the machine can be found super cheaply. It automatically shuts off after every 30 minute session to cool down and there is a whole step about how to disassemble it so that you can clean it and you're only supposed to wipe it down, not submerge it in water. The cleanup process is probably pretty easy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for being here today. I'm glad I got to share some cotton candy magic with you all. I'm gonna bust out a broom and a Swiffer Sweeper and go ahead and mop up my entire house before the ant invasion starts. Like this video if you enjoyed this week's episode of Does This Thing Really Work? And I can't wait to show you guys what device I have for next week. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!